The 3-in-1 Smart Car and IoT Learning Kit from SunFounder is a hands-on, all-included electronics kit that is perfect for anyone who wants to learn how to master the Arduino. The kit comes with an Arduino, 22 different sensors and modules, breadboards, jumper wires, and everything else you need to build a bunch of fun and interesting projects. Learn about robotics by building a remote-controlled smart car that can be controlled with an infrared remote controller. Or drive on its own and avoid obstacles or fall on a line. Learn about the Internet of Things with a project that lets you monitor the temperature, humidity, and light level of a room from an app on your smartphone. And build a plant monitor that tracks the temperature, humidity, light intensity, and soil moisture displays it on your smartphone so you can keep your plants watered remotely. It's a super cool kit and I had lots of fun building all the projects in it. So click the link in the description below to order the kit from SunFounder. In this video, we're going to learn about another type of conditional statement, called the switch case statement. When you have multiple conditions that need to be tested, it's better to use switch case rather than multiple if statements. The code is simpler, faster, and more optimized. Let's take a look at an example sketch. Say I want to take a reading from a temperature sensor and print on the serial monitor whether the temperature is low, medium, or high. A thermistor is a type of analog temperature sensor. We'll learn how to use them in an upcoming video. But for now, all you need to know is that they output an analog read value between 0 and 1023. So first thing I need to do is declare the analog pin variable. I'll call it thermistor pin. In the setup section, I need to initialize the serial monitor. Since analog pins are assumed to be inputs, I don't need to use pin mode in here. In the loop, I'm going to make a variable called temp to store the analog read value from the thermistor pin. And then I want to divide the analog read value by 341, which will divide it into three integers that represent the low, medium, and high temperature ranges. So this will take the analog read value stored in temp, divide it by 341, and save it as a new value in temp. To make the switch case statement, you start by writing switch, followed by a pair of parentheses and a pair of open and closed curly braces. The variable or value that will be compared to the cases goes inside the parentheses. The sketch is going to compare the temperature values against the cases. So I'm going to put my temp variable in here. Inside the curly brackets here is where the case statements go. Now we'll have three possible cases, one, two, and three. So the first case will be one. I'll type that here, then in this line with a colon. On the next line below that, I'll put a line to serial print temperature is low. Then I'll end the case with a break. Break causes the program to exit the switch statement once it has found a match. It's not absolutely necessary, but it prevents the program from checking all of the other cases against the switch condition, even after it has found a match. So the next case statement will be for when temp equals 2. Now our case is 2. When the temp range is 2, we want to print a line that says temperature is medium. And when the temp is in the third range, I'll print out temperature is high.
After writing the case statements, we can use what's called the default statement. The default statement is optional, but it can be useful. The default statement is executed if none of the case statements match the switch condition. In the case of this temperature sensor, if none of the cases match, there's probably something wrong with the sensor. So I'm going to print out sensor error. And that's it. First, the Arduino is going to take a reading from the thermistor pin and store the value in the temp variable. The value will be between 0 and 1023, depending on the temperature it measures. Then we convert that value to a set of three temperature ranges, 1, 2, or 3, by dividing it by 341. The switch statement is going to look at the temp variable and check it against each one of these case statements. If temp is 2, this case statement will be run, and temperature is medium will be printed to the serial monitor. After that, the break keyword will make the program exit the switch statement. If temp is 3, this case statement will run, and temperature is high will be printed. Say temp is 0. None of the case statements are 0, so the default statement will be run. After that, the sketch will exit the switch statement block and continue on with the rest of the program. Switch case statements are really useful when you have lots of different inputs and need to do something different when each one occurs. We're going to be seeing more switch case statements when we get to the video on infrared remotes and receivers. But in the next video, we'll take a closer look at loops and how we can use them to get even greater control over the flow of our sketches. SunFounder is my go-to source for sensors, modules, and other parts for the Arduino and Raspberry Pi. They have a huge selection of STEM, robotics, and IoT kits, and lots of useful sensors and modules. Every product has an online tutorial with wiring diagrams and example code. They also offer free shipping on all orders, with no minimum. Give them a try at www.sunfounder.com next time you need to order some parts.